This week's boiler tip, we're going to talk about failure on thermodynamic traps. Um, of course, if a trap is cold and our valves on the inlet and outlet are open, um, it may be failed in the closed position. Um, it's easy to tell if these are working because really if you're in the vicinity of the trap, you'll hear it cycle. And by cycle, I basically mean every 30 seconds to one minute, you'll hear the, the trap open, a rush of condensate, and a click or snap as the trap closes again. So if it's cold, it's cold, we know we've got a problem. If it's never seeming to shut off, we could have garbage underneath the disc or something that's not allowing it to shut off properly. Another mode of failure is one that we'll see outdoors when it's exposed to cold temperatures. If this is getting rain, water, wind on it, what we'll get is a very rapid cycling of the trap because the disc is going to cycle repeatedly and we call that machine gunning. Um, so in some cases you'll have a plastic cap to put over that to slow down its cycle rate. Um, if we insulate that completely, it may close and be hours before it will reopen. So if this fails in the shut position, it's going to back condensate up until it reopens. So we're looking for a routine cycle rate that's fairly consistent.